using iMovie on iPad to edit videos. Hi there guys, welcome back to another iPad productivity devlog. In today's video, we're going to look at how to use iMovie on iPad. Now, as you all know, as a YouTuber, finding the right video editor is very important to me because that's what I do all day long. So today we're going to try out the iMovie app on the iPad to see how it works. So here you can see in my productivity library, I have the iMovie app. If you don't have the iMovie app on your iPad, you can simply go to the App Store and then download iMovie for free. Let's open it up and take a look. Once you enter iMovie, you can see up here are your current projects that you are currently working on or that you have worked on. And down here, you have three different options. You have Magic Movie, where iMovie is going to create a movie for you. You have the Storyboard, where you can use a template to create your movie. And lastly, you have the movie option to make a movie from scratch. So that's the option we're going to try out today. We're going to select movie. After that, you can select the videos and the, the photos that you want to add to your movie. For example, I'm going to add this one and this one, and then tap on create movie. Now to preview your movie, you can just press play over here, and then it's going to play your movie. Let's pause this for a minute. You can see at the bottom here, is your timeline. So if I want to go through the timeline, all I need to do is use my finger and drag through. And this is where my first movie end, and this is where my second movie begins. You can edit a movie by just tapping on the movie. And you can see there's a, an outline, a yellow outline around the movie. From here, at the bottom here, you have different options that you can use. For example, the first option is to split. So I'm going to split this um, movie right here. Let's say if I want to split it right over here, right? Right before the soccer stars here. So I'm going to tap the, the movie and you see the yellow outline. I'm now going to hit on split. So now I have three different movies. I have this one. That's my first movie. This is my second movie. And this is my third movie. If I like, I can select the second movie and delete it. And that is one way for you to trim your movie as well. Another way to trim your movies is to just select the movie and then you can drag this yellow border here. For example, I'm going to trim it, make it shorter, or I can extend it to make it longer. How about if I trim it right here and I'm going to let go and it trim off the beginning of the movie. You can do, you can do the same thing at the end of the movie. Let's say if I want to trim out the end of this movie, I'm going to go to the end of the movie and I want to trim out like from here, I want to get rid of everything, right? So I'm just going to select the movie, right? And then I'm going to drag the yellow border until when I want to stop, then I stop. I'm going to trim everything out from the end to here. So this is going to be my new ending here. So that's basically how you split the um, movie into two parts and you can do whatever you want with each of those parts. Or you can trim a movie from the, the beginning or from the end. When you select the movie, you have other options. You have the option to detach the audio. That's very helpful if you want to separate the audio from the video. You can duplicate. How about if we duplicate? Let's see what happened. You can see it has created a duplicate copy of the, the selected video. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the new duplicate copy. And now I'm back to one single copy. Let me show you something. So if I don't select the video, I don't have those options. But if I select the video, I have all these options that I can do with the selected video down here. So again, it is the split, detach audio, duplicate. Right now, I'm selecting action. Other than action, I can change the speed of my video by dragging this here. So if I slow it down, you can see that my video is going to take longer. Now it goes up to 23 minutes. But if I speed up my clip here, then the video is going to become shorter. I'm going back to the normal speed here, which is 1x. Now, next down here, we have title. So you can put text into your video. For example, I'm going to select reveal. So you have many different options here, right? You just, uh, you just pick one. And I'm going to enter my text here, right? So I'm going to click on the text, hit edit. And let's say this is sample. All right, so that is my text. I'm going to click Done. And now I want to enlarge the text so to make it larger. 
And also, I want to reposition the text, so I'm just going to tap and hold the text and pull it, place it wherever I want. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here, and let's see how it works. I'm going to press play. And as you can see, when it reaches here, you can see the text appears on the screen. And then you have the filters, so you can change the filter, selecting different filters here. For example, I'm going to select black and white. And now my movie has turned into a black and white movie. Look at that, it's coming. And now it is black and white. All right, so those are all the different options at the bottom here. When you select a movie clip, you have all those options for you to choose from. In the middle here, you can see there's a microphone. So that means you can add your own voice over over your video. And there is a camera for you to insert new clips that you taking at the moment into this movie. On the right over here, you have the undo option. And if you want to add more movies to this project, you can just click on the plus sign at the top right corner up here. Click on that and then you can select where to retrieve the, the next movie clip from. For example, I'm going to retrieve it from videos and I'm going to click on all. And then I can select which movie clip I want to add in. For example, if I want to add in maybe this one here. And how about we do picture in picture. All right, so you, you can see it has added the new movie clip in and it does a picture in picture. That's very cool. You can see at the bottom here, you can also add new audio to your movie. All right, so that's the plus sign at the top right corner. And then you have the settings here. If you click on settings, you can set the settings for this movie project. So you can set the filter. How about if I pick comic here and let's see what happened. You, you can see my video has become comic, like a comic book. All right, so that goes for the entire project. But since the second clip here, I have already indicated what kind of effect I want. I, I wanted the black and white for the second clip here. So the second clip is going to stay black and white, but the first clip here has turned to comic. In the settings here, you have other options that you can choose. You can try them out, like fade in from black. If you do that, if you do fade in from black, you're going to start the movie with black and then it's going to fade in. If I play, you see it fades in. You can do the same thing with the fade out to black. So when you end the movie, it's going to fade out. Next, we're going to learn how to change the transition between the movie clips. For example, here you see I have two different movie clips. If I play and it's going to go from the first movie to the second movie. And here is the default. That is the default transition. If you want to change that transition, you can just simply click on the transition icon here. So this here dissolve is the default and the default transition is one second. You can change it to 0.5 or 1.5 or two seconds. And also here, the default is the sound effect is off. You can turn on the sound effect to hear a sound when it transitioned to the next movie clip. And at the bottom here, you have different options. So again, the default is dissolved. If I choose, let's say slide, and we're going to go back to the movie and let's see how that's going to look and sound. Here we go. So we're finishing up the first movie here and we're going to transition to the second movie. Did you see that? That is a different transition that we have selected. All right, so iMovie is pretty cool. I, I like it. It has a lot of very easy to use features. You just need a little bit of getting used to, and then you can do all these nice, cool videos on YouTube. One other thing I want to show you, which is pretty useful, is if you select the uh, movie clip here, you can go up here. You can see there's a magnifier. Click on the magnifier, and then you can pinch to zoom in, or you can expand to zoom out. So you can change 
you can zoom to uh, wherever you want in your movie. And then when you're done, just hit the magnifier again and it's gone. So now you have your new movie, your, your updated movie. One other thing I want to mention here before we go is um, with iMovie, I find it uh, kind of hard to, to rotate the, the, um, the frame, the picture frame. So for example, my clip here is a portrait, right? If I want to turn it sideways to turn it into landscape, it's very tough. What I need to do is I need to select the clip, make sure you select actions down here, and then you're going to use two fingers. You're going to hit two fingers on the, the, um, on the picture here, and then you're going to rotate your finger. And you see there's an arrow uh, on the screen, and then when you let go, it rotates. So that is how you rotate your picture frame so that it goes from vertical to horizontal. The, the reason I don't like it too much is because when I tried it with just one single movie clip, it did not work. So that's why I needed to add two different clips in, in order to make the rotation works. But maybe it could, could have been a glitch. I don't know. Um, you can try it for yourself. But anyway, that is the technique to rotate the picture frame is to select the picture frame, make sure you select actions, and then you use two fingers, and then you turn a little bit and you see the arrow when you let go, it gets rotated. Guys, give iMovie a try, it's pretty cool. You can create all kinds of uh, cool stuff with it and then you can post them on YouTube, like I do. All right, thank you all for watching and we look forward to seeing you again in our next devlog video. Take care everyone.